Hello, friends, colleagues, family. A uh, request came for me to talk about hemochromatosis. Uh, we know on the term of hemochromatosis, we think the uh, body is storing too much iron. Well, why not to use the science and debunk it scientifically? Again, I'm sorry about Mayo Clinic, you know, that I'm using them, but they just put the science uh, in perspective for, to educate uh, people that come to their site. And uh, it's really very practical for me just to use that and go step by step and scientifically debunking science or basically explaining it. Okay, so let's start there. Okay, so here we are. Hemochromatosis, overview. Hemochromatosis, okay, when body causes your body to absorb too much iron from the food. Okay, so there is something that is doing this. Access of iron is stored in your organs, specifically in your liver, heart, pancreas, and so, so on. Okay, so um, there are few, three, a few types of hematomatrosis. We just skip over that. Uh, treatment includes regularly removing blood. Okay, so what you don't know how to fix, you don't understand, you take it out, uh, like a surgery, for example. No? Now, I always say, let's start from a symptom. What are the symptoms that you are suffering from this terrible problem? Joint pain, abdominal pain, fatigue, weakness. Okay, what is the difference? Weakness, fatigue, I don't see it. Well, diabetes, loss of sex drive, impotence, heart failure, liver failure. Okay, color of the skin changes, bronze or gray skin color. Memory fog. Well, memory fog. Um, impotence, um, loss of sex drive, fatigue, weakness, joint pain, all those are symptoms of toxic blood. When does blood become toxic? When it is low on plasma. So it cannot afford to use plasma to cleanse out what it does not need. In this case, we are talking about iron. Okay. When the symptoms typically appear, the most common types okay, um, of hemochromatosis is present at birth, which means the baby was born from a toxic mother. But most people don't experience symptoms until later in life. Why? Because the toxicity increases dehydration of blood increases, which increases the toxicity of the blood as we get older, because it's cumulative. So here is another clue. Men are more prone to it from age 40 and over, and women from age 60 and over, especially after the menopause. So what do we know about men menstruation? That women actually are put one a month into detox mode. Vib vibrate with, vi with vibration of detox. And through eliminating the blood, they are eliminating toxins and toxic blood. So then they rebuild a fresh blood. So their toxicity of their blood is always lower than non-menstruating men because men just cumulatively keep absorbing. This is why they become more toxic earlier and earlier they can suffer for, from chromochromatosis. Okay, went to see doctor. 
Well, when you feel bad, that's what we do. Okay, causes. Hemochromatosis is most often caused by change in a gene. This gene controls amount of iron you will absorb. Okay, the altered gene is passed from parent to child. This is why if parent is toxic, the child that is born may be in chromatosis, hemochromatosis. Okay? But other than children, then we have to wait until the body gets toxic, which is later in life. Okay, now they mention which gene is causing this. This is irrelevant. What do we know about the genes? Genes uh, respond to the vibration of the environment. You have toxic environment it is going to trigger particular genes that will resonate with that frequency. So it is not genetic problem, it is not problem of a gene, it is problem of the environment. Now, if you inherit two altered genes or five or six or ten, does not really matter. It is the environment that you have to worry about. There is no such a thing of having being a gene passed from a mother to a child because every cell of the body has always the whole spectrum of genes. Every single gene is there. It just depends which genes are activated and which genes are normal, which depends on the environment. Okay, now how chromatosis, hemochromatosis affects your organs? They don't know, okay? They are basing everything on statistics. But the thing is that the body is supposed to eliminate surplus. So if you receive more iron through your food that you need, your body is supposed to eliminate it. To eliminate it, it needs plasma. If the blood is low on plasma, the body calculator will calculate and say, well, wait a minute, the iron is not that problematic as is dropping my plasma levels even lower. And then what happens if it cannot eliminate it with plasma, then it is just going to take it out of circulation and place it in subcutaneous tissue or in some organs. And this is why change of a color of the skin. And this is why we may find more iron in certain organs. Okay, so now they have classified different hemochromatosis, which is all baloney because if you don't understand why is this happening, this uh, separation of uh, different types of hemochromatosis, this is just nonsense, pure scientific nonsense. Risk factor. Okay. Hmm. Having two copies of... Okay, risk factor. Risk factor is toxicity. Low levels of plasma, which is the biggest risk. Family history, it does not matter. Ethnicity, it does not matter. Your sex, men are more likely than women. Why? I just explained it. Because men regularly are more toxic because they don't menstruate. If they would go every month, when women menstruate and they go and donate blood, get rid of pint of blood, they would have the same level of toxicity as a woman. They would be cleaner, they would live longer, everything would be better. 
complications, cirrhosis, it doesn't happen because of iron. It happens because of the toxicity and lack of plasma. Diabetes, damage to pancreas. Well, pancreas will get damaged by the toxicity, not the iron. Heart problems, the same thing. Reproductive problems, same thing. Skin color, same thing. Changes. Everybody that is on blood dialysis, that kidneys supposedly don't work. Well, how could they work when there is not enough plasma in the body? Body cannot part with it. But what happens is that because of low plasma, they are forcing, eliminating the toxins through the skin. So the skin is going to get, and subcutaneous tissue will be loaded with more and more toxins, which will change the color of the skin and smell of the skin and perspiration. Okay, so here we have debunked science with science. Let's just elaborate a bit more about it. As you can see, in a few minutes we have debunked the whole science uh, and mystery that surrounds the hemochromatosis. Everything we are being told in our indoctrination centers, which are controlled by the cabal, is basically converting truth into lie. Same like religion, put some facts of truth and then smear them with a bunch of nonsense misguiding completely and changing actually the information from truthful into a lie. That's what Kabbal does, always inverts everything. And since Kabbal is controlling medical science, uh, science in general that we are being told in a school, we are being misled with ev in every point. So the general public, like me and everybody even listening to this, is misguided from the start, from the get-go. And of course, it's very difficult to advance because you always look to the Soyans to find the clues to resolve the problem that you have, but the science is contrary to the truth, so now you get lost because it simply does not make a sense. But it has to because you are programmed with it. So you keep you keep banging head on the wall and you know that you will not break the wall. You will break your head first. But there is no other solution because you are using scientific principles. Yeah. By using science as your knowledge, which is completely baloney. We have to understand that the body is programmed to self-maintain itself. I call it the autopilot of healing. I was actually asked to make a video about this autopilot of healing, which I will do when I have chance. But body is a robot that is programmed. And to work correctly, it needs certain things. One of them is plasma. And plasma is water that is made electroconductive through ions. These ions are minerals that we receive through salt. We lose plasma daily. Every time you urinate, you are urinating plasma. 
It's not water. It's salty. Whenever you defecate, you are losing some plasma. Whenever you cry, you are losing plasma. When you sweat, you are losing plasma. Okay, so you are losing plasma daily. You are losing salts daily. And then you are being told by soyans, salt is bad for you. Don't take it. Okay, so you are being programmed to work against your body. Not to replenish what is losing, so then it has to alter the way it functions. Starts preserving what is left over and has to make decision what it can do. Can it use the plasma to eliminate the toxin or it is more important to hold the plasma because the toxin is not really toxin, it is surplus. And the surplus maybe is less problematic than losing more plasma. So instead of eliminating it, it will store it in a tissue or in a cell, in the organ. Now, there is a very simple solution to this. Drink plasma. Raise your plasma levels. But then you have to take salt and you are being told not to oh, the salt is bad. You have a kidney problem, you are salt. Well, kidney problem you have because there is not enough plasma to run kidneys. And now you are being instructed by the experts of soyans <clears throat> to avoid salt 100%. And then as you get worse, then you are even limited in amount of water that you can take. It's a blind leading the blind. Things are very simple. The body is programmed to heal itself. All you have to do is provide it with what it needs to do so and stop poisoning it. Every dietary recommendation that you see exposed and cherished is scientifically proven to be healthy, which means scientifically it's toxic. Garlic, superfood, you gotta have it. It's natural antibiotic. It's highly neurotoxic. Spinach, very healthy. It has a lot of antioxidants, highly toxic. Kale, very good, healthy, toxic. Plants, all plants are toxic. But we are being told, no, you, you need plants because the only way you can get minerals is through a plant, has to be related through plant, so it's bioactivated. You cannot have mineral salt to serve you in a body. Body will not accept it. Says who? Can you observe? Who needs supplement salt? Herbivores that only chew on vegetables. So if these greens are supposed to have all the minerals, how come that herbivores have to be supplied with salt? Think! But we are not told to think. No doctor thinks. Doctor follows guidelines, which are created by cabal. So what is the purpose of doctors? What are doctors actually schooled to do? To depopulate, to poison. This is purpose of doctors. They don't know it because they don't think. Because you cannot pass school and get diploma if you are thinking. You can only pass it if you obey and you repeat everything what you have been told. As soon as you start questioning, this is not good. You will not be rated well and only the students with high top marks can be accepted to medical university.
which means obeying sheep that cannot rationally think. This is what your doctors are. This is what I was. Only I was rebellious from the get-go. The only thing is my father said, I won't pay for anything, not food. You can get out of the house if you are not studying for doctor because I want my sons to be doctors. So I was forced in there. I wanted to be a marine, bi marine biologist. Maybe. I did not know what I want to be. I had no clue. But I love nature. I will, so to me, I love sea. So to me, that would be a thing to do. Anyway, maybe this is why my first opportunity I had is to go to sea and live on a sailboat and air my brain a little bit and start thinking. And with help of Father, the whole new world of truth revealed to me, which I had to question because everything is contrary to everything I was told. So I had to experiment on myself. So my friends, hemochromatosis is not a disease. It's not a problem other than problem of toxicity caused by lack of plasma in a body. Body cannot cleanse, becomes toxic. The longer you are in this low plasma level state, the more toxic you become and different symptoms are showing up of which one of them could be classified as hemochromatosis. Same like with all the other chronic diseases. This is why also a lot of these symptoms are the same. The only difference is that more iron is being found in your tissue. That's all. But the other symptoms, are, most of the symptoms are related to toxic blood, not to iron. Thank you for listening. Oh, and of course, if you want to know how you can if you are pronounced with this kind of a disorder or disease, how to get out of it? Drink plasma. That's all. Seawater is around us everywhere. If you are living next to the sea, dilute your seawater three to one with regular water or distilled water, bless it and drink it. And you will quickly elevate, you will thin your blood because you will supply it with adequate levels of plasma and your health is going to improve on every level and not improve, you are going to heal. Of course then you have to also stop poisoning yourself with recommended foods and go into those which are getting forbidden. Meat. Why is meat getting forbidden? And why are the cows being attacked and pigs are being attacked? Chicken slaughter, why? Because Kabbalah doesn't want us to be healthy. They want to feed us with crickets. With substance that you cannot digest. Anyway, this much for hemochromatosis. I love you all. God bless you. Namaste.